Yeah, this is gonna be fun. What's up guys? It's 2020, new year, and we are getting the car ready for the drift season. So, like I told you in the last video, we got some changes coming uh, electronics wise. And uh, today, we started getting that ready. So let me show you. We will be using the Link G4 Plus Fury next year. Uh, Jason from Link helped us out with this and uh, I'm super grateful for that. We also picked up some 16 foot yeah. uh, leads with the uh, Link A and B plugs already on there and then everything populated out from there. So that makes our wiring job a lot easier. So tonight what we did was we took string over to the car to the engine I didn't film any of this because we were doing it and basically measured from the firewall over here well let me let me back up we did that and then we came over to here we got a valve cover and then we measured strut tower to strut tower and firewall and then measured the valve cover as our center and then measured our critical components from there on the table and then we did the string on the car because the table obviously you can't go up and down so then we took our string went over to the car and measured each individual piece of string the length it needs to be to get to the sensor that it needs to go to the plug so we have map oil pressure fuel pressure flex fuel um, you know Injectors, all eight of them, the coils over here, boost solenoid, cam crank, you know, all everything. So what we're going to do here is basically take our wire lengths and measure them against the string. Leave a couple inches extra just for, you know, any mistakes we might have made. Cut to length, loom it all, and put it on the car and then install plugs once we get to the car for our final length of everything. So, that is the next step in our build process. It's just finished up on the second step of putting together this wiring harness, so let me show you what we did. So, we took all that string, we drew all the lines out, we measured it off the car, you know, everything I've already gone over. And then we had our pre-runoff um, leads that we bought from Link that were already uh, pinned into the plugs that we needed and uh, everything was labeled for where it needed to go. So a couple things that we had to add were our 12 volt powers for our coils and injectors and all of our chassis grounds as well as we had to splice in sensor grounds and five volts and five volts but other than that everything was already here so we took our string and scaled all the wire out just like we were planning on doing and we uh, taped it all together and cut it all to the general length that we need after that we uh, cleaned it up taped everything together so it stayed you know where we're going to split it off from our looms and then we uh continuity tested end to end on every wire so it was a little bit of work what time did you start this morning 6 30 6 30 i got here about 11 a.m and it's 4 30 right now so not too bad for a day's work um everything tests good and everything's cut to where it needs to be so next step is going to be loom it up and uh, get it on the car and put all the plugs on another thing that happened behind the scenes here well Jim here my dad he's the mastermind he did this uh, during the week while I was at work so before he started um, routing all these wires he took the pinouts from the plugs that Link supplied us 
And um, he took those color coding and the pinouts, and then he made his own sheet um, with the color code and the pin location and what it was going to so that you know we just had a better idea of where everything needed to go so that was helpful and then because this this is helpful but it's not very descriptive you know it's some of them are just like auxiliary or digital input but he actually took every single component and named it out so that we would be sure that we were routing it to the right spot in our harness so that's something he did behind the scenes and printed all this up and did an Excel spreadsheet and um, made it happen. So yeah, I think we made pretty good progress today. That. That'll work. All right, guys, next step on the harness. <clears throat> As you can see, Jim over here has already started. Looming. So, we got two different kinds of loom here. This mesh stuff, it's going to be on the wiring that's inside of the car. Which is that stuff there. Which is this Alex Tech split loom. Amazon, Amazon has it. Yep. And then for everything that's going to be in the engine bay, we're going to use this, what is that called? Raycam Ray DR25. And this is a shrink wrap, right? Shrink wrap, yep. So. And some AAL, ACL, whoops. Don't pay attention to that. Let me go remember what that stuff is. So yeah, we're gonna use this shrink wrap, <coughs> excuse me. We're gonna use this shrink wrap looming on everything that will be out in the engine bay to protect all the wiring. We also bought that on uh, Wire Pro. Or Pro Wire USA, Pro Wire, I mean. USA. And then this is called uh, SCL. And it's basically a shrink wrap that has a glue in it. So when we do all of our joints, we'll use this SCL. Works really well for waterproofing and chemical proofing and all that. So this would be chemical proof on the engine bay side. All right. So here we go. So I tried to do some time lapse, but I didn't bring a GoPro today, and my phone keeps turning off. So basically, you'll see on some of that time lapse I did, we're stringing the the looming through, and then he's heating it up, and then if you can see there in his left hand, he's got that other piece that we melt over every joint, and it's got when it melts it. Uh, it's kind of gooey and uh, seals up all the spots where you have a branch coming out and basically we're just gonna do that until we get to the end and it's all loomed so we've probably been at it for an hour now and I guess it'll take us a couple more hours to get it finished but it's what you got to do all right so as you can see we are finished with 
looming the wiring harness and on top of that we have installed all the plugs i didn't film any of that because the few times that i was here helping him put the plugs on i just either forgot or wasn't motivated enough to film it but it is all finished so what we did was after we finished looming it we uh put these heat shrink labels on with a protective cover over each of them so every wire is labeled or every i guess plug is labeled and then uh yeah we put all the plugs on you know just put the pins in crimped them and put the plugs on for each different sensor um after that what we did was we tested so first we just tested from our ecu um pins or connectors here sorry ecu connectors uh continuity test from there out to the ends of everything to make sure that we had them in the right location and then after that we took the necessary wires to run powers to things so we kind of just set up a test bench is what you would call it and uh, we gave it powers and grounds and uh, pulled the dash out of here or the switch panel I should say and uh, wired it into our harness and tested everything that way as well so as you can see here he's on the link software and he's able to run the outputs and we're able to test it with power so right there he's got a noid light on that is an injector injector four injector four so he's able to fire it from the ecu see the light flash and simulate that injector firing so yeah i think we're pretty much buttoned up here we got to do a little bit of wiring on the car to get this system integrated with the wiring that's in the car right now but yeah it should be pretty much uh putting everything in the car and uh putting the harness in there's i think we got six wires or so that we got to find in the car to connect into this wiring harness to get things to work together and uh yeah should be able to go from there and get it running so yeah, that's everything for the wiring harness. Um, hopefully, my next video is going to be us tuning the car on the dyno track. You know, just going over the link software, getting everything set up. Or I may upload the fiberglass video next. We're still working on it. I'm not sure. But I got another video coming. I got another video that I'm going to make. So yeah, stay in tune and... Uh, See you guys next time.